Have you ever shared a spreadsheet and watched eyes glaze over? Let's fix that. In the next few minutes, I'll turn three rows of marketing data into clean, on-branded executive snapshots with KPI titles, a mini trend chart, and clear next steps using Vengage's AI data infographics generator. Let's get started. Okay, so here is what I'm starting with, our weekly marketing numbers from the past three weeks. We've got our ad spend, we've got conversions, and our return on ad spend. It's small, simple, and honestly, not very helpful as is. There's no hierarchy, there's no story, and there's nothing visual here. So let's turn this into a dashboard that actually communicates what's happening. We're going to go to Vengage's AI data infographics generator. And for you to try this out yourself, the link will be in the description below. In the prompt field, I'll paste the prompt that reads infographic, marketing performance dashboard, convert table into KPI titles, include three hero metrics, spend conversions, return on ad spend, one mini line chart showing weekly conversions, add priority flags, plus a short marketing action list. And then I just copy and pasted the data that I showed you from this spreadsheet. And then I'll hit generate and I'll come back once my draft design is finished generating and we could take a closer look at it in the editor. Okay, so here's the first draft that the AI gave us. And this already looks so good. We have our three hero KPIs, spend, conversions, ROAS, a mini line chart visualizing weekly conversion growth. We have a priority flag section with insights the AI pulled from the data as well as a marketing action list with recommended next steps. We also got some extra KPIs here, which is our click-through rate and our cost per conversion. These extra tiles are optional. You can keep them for extra context or you can delete them if you want a more compact layout. So this base structure is solid. So now what we need to do is make it on brand. I'll go to the brand kit over here on the left-hand side. And what I'm gonna do is apply our Maker Thrive branding. So I can shuffle through this color palette until I find one that I like the most. I think this one looks really good. And then what we could also do is add our logo. So I could drop this in here. I could add this down here at the bottom. And then I can also apply our fonts. So we use Poppins and Enter. All I have to do is click on these and my fonts will automatically update and can add the paragraph fonts as well. So this immediately replaced the default illustration style and the color scheme with our own visual identity. Now it looks like something that I'd actually share in a report or a deck. So moving on, this layout already has a really nice structure. We have our top with our dashboard title, marketing performance dashboard. We have row one with our hero KPI tiles, the center with our conversions line chart. On the left here, we have our priority flags, which are the key insights from the data. On the right, we have our action list. And then on the bottom, we have our additional KPIs that the AI suggests. You can reorder or delete sections depending on how simple you want your final snapshot to be. So I could select all of these. I can move them around. I can reorder any of this. It's super simple to adjust any of the formatting or your visual hierarchy. Next, what we're going to do is run design feedback. So I'm gonna go to the AI tools here on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna click design feedback. What this is gonna do is open this AI analyzer here on the right-hand side, and it's going to assess my visual hierarchy, review spacing and alignment, so you can run this and get any feedback on your design. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so we actually don't have any feedback, but if you did, it would have all of the suggestions there, and you can go and apply them very easily and then rescan your design once you've made your edits. So moving on, let's ensure that this executive snapshot is able to be read by everybody. What we're gonna do is go to file, go to accessibility and check accessibility. This will flag any contrast or text size issues. And in this draft, you can see that we failed the color contrast. So it's telling us that the low contrast text may be difficult to read. Make sure your design meets the following color contrast thresholds. So it gives us some tips and then it also tells us which text it's talking about specifically. So if I click conversions, you can see that it has low color contrast. So since it's white, possibly somebody can't read it that well. So we can change this to a black color. We'll change this text to white as well as the description text. And let's rescan this document. Okay, so we passed and now we're passing our color contrast. We're passing our text size, links and tables. 
this looks great and now we are ready to move on now what i'm going to do is clean up some of this writing i'll select one of these tiles so i can go into these kpi tiles up here and look at the latest weekly ad spend what I can do is select this text and go up here to improve text. This will open the AI text generator. And I have a few quick options here. I can make this shorter. I can make it more professional. And then I can also fix spelling and grammar, or I could prompt the AI in my own words. I'm going to choose make more professional. And what the AI is going to do is automatically rewrite this text and I can easily just replace this section. So now I have most recent weekly advertising expenditure. I can do the same for the rest of the text, make this more professional. I can replace this. Let's do the same for our return on ad spend and replace this section. Okay, so it's super easy to clean up that text. This keeps everything sharp and easy to scan. Now what we're gonna do is export this. I'm very happy with how it looks. So I could download this as a PNG or a PDF, and let's just go ahead and download this as a PNG. Okay, so I got my download. Let's go ahead and open this in my browser. Okay, so now let's take a look at the before and after. If I go over here to my marketing data spreadsheet, this is what we started with, right? We have plain spreadsheet with just some numbers and then some headers. Nothing very interesting, right? After using Vengage's AI, we now have a polished branded dashboard that shows trends, KPIs, and actions at a glance, which is perfect for sharing in your Slack group, in your Notion reports, or weekly leadership updates. And that's how you turn tiny data into big action snapshots with Vengage's AI. Try it out for yourself. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Maker Dive channel and I'll see you in the next one.